what's up y'all welcome back to another video it's your girl um yeah i'm in the car per usual on my way to go to another house viewing what is today today is the 20th the 21st i think it's the 21st but i can't tell on my watch because my watch is trying to give me directions to where i'm going so yeah um yeah it's the 21st wednesday 2024 <laughs> And I'm going to go look at this house. Um, this house is three hundred and twenty-nine thousand or something like that, and um, two bedrooms, one bath in the state of, in the great state of Washington. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm on my way to go see it. See if it's a little reasonable-looking thing. About to try to scrounge up some coins <laughs> for it if I decide that I want to put an offer in so um I don't know I feel kind of stressed because like I just started doing this <laughs> just because I wanted to see like what I could do and what I could get blah 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 but it's giving this is stressful who wants to do this like and it's so funny because I feel like you know I want to do this I'm kind of thrown into the situation because I don't know very many people who have gone through this process and um I don't know what everybody's process has looked like and so now i'm just like trying to figure things out and i'm a little less prepared than i should be for this so we'll see if anything comes of it if not then i'll start over another year but for now i'm gonna see if i can make any magic happen if not i don't know i already kind of feel like taking the stress off myself and just saying girl hold out hold out hold out hold out hold out because what are you doing child that house was low-key a mess it wasn't all bad but it was small and it was um the rooms looked like the walls were like toe up and maybe some damage there and um some tiny closets i don't i don't think i can buy no house right now it's giving your house gonna be a mess and you need some money to fix it. I don't wanna deal with that. I might as well just keep renting. But everybody keeps telling me it's better if you buy a house because you own it and you're paying for somebody else's stuff right now. You could be paying blah, 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 blah. And I agree, there are some levels that um home ownership can help you with generational wealth and you know, building up that piece of life. But it might be a, it might be in the stars for me to wait. It might be in the stars for me to wait. I don't know. But I do like having this experience because I am getting a chance to see what it all entails. And if I do decide to wait a little longer, then I'll be better prepared. The realtor, though, I like her. I kind of want her to get her check. So I'm not going to rush because I want her to get a check because I want to get what I would like to live in before I want her to get her check. But if I do end up staying here and getting a house here, then I think I'm going to stick with her. Because the last person I was working with, she didn't do no work. This one puts in work. Good morning, y'all. What's up? I'm back. Um, It's Thursday, the 22nd. I'm freaking on my way to work late. I'm having a hard time waking up early again. And I've been on a, like a a little almost two month streak of like waking up early exercising early doing my um my big one <laughs> but no doing my um you know my morning stuff getting to work on time all that all that but i've been struggling getting up <clears throat> i didn't even hear i don't even know if i set my alarm for 4 30 the only hurt the only alarm i heard was my five o'clock one and by the time that one went off, I was like, I'm not getting up. I'm just laying here. I'm not going anywhere. So I didn't get up and exercise this morning. Lately, I've been having to exercise in the afternoon. And that's been a little annoying. So um, I'm going to do my exercise in the afternoon again today. But then I'm going to try to get back to my morning routine. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. But I might as well just do it tomorrow, even though I'm not, I don't wake up early on the weekend. It's just too much. I'm not doing that on the weekend. Um, so I guess the benefit so far of that is you get your stuff done early. 
um, like your exercise and stuff, your little personal time, and then you get to work on time too. And you could probably even squeeze in a little breakfast if you wanted to, because 4.30 is really early. So, we'll see how tomorrow goes. But, yeah, I'm on my way to to uh, work, but I'm not going directly to my building this morning. I'm going to the skills center that's over here that our students be going to sometimes. Um, it's like a counselor connection. I'm hoping that they got some food. I think they're supposed to have some food. And I'm also hoping that they give us a little tour, because I'm like, I just started school counseling last year last school year um but I've been like a mental health professional in schools for a few years now but the school counseling aspect is a little different than just mental health and so I'm like I don't even know anything about this program I be sending kids here like I need to know a little bit more so I'm about to go check it out and see what it's doing my skin looks so freaking dry it's so ugly all right yeah, i'm about to leave the skills center um this school was really cool i gave me breakfast sausage burrito i'm gonna eat this but i don't know how many calories are in this i we finish a little bit early so i'm about to take my time because i don't feel like going to work today and i actually enjoyed being out here their career center stuff, I mean, their career, like school stuff, is way better than my school. Then we're supposed to be like a career school, too. So, we gotta step our game up. Period. Hey, y'all. It's me. It's Friday, February 23rd at 12.24 p.m. I just ate crazy as heck. Which is crazy because I started off real healthy today. But then there's this group that comes, a support group for LGBTQ plus students. And they provide pizza to the students at lunch on Fridays. And they have some leftover from pizza time. Cheese pizza. Oh yeah, I just went in. I went in the break room and I seen it in there. I was like, oh. and I just couldn't resist it. I have a problem. <laughs> And you want to know what makes it worse? Is that I'm going to, um, what's it called? I'm going to Dining in the Dark tonight. So I didn't already ate an extensive amount of pizza. The calories on that is crazy. Plus the calories from the little bit of stuff that I ate before. And plus whatever I eat at Dining in the Dark. And if it's good, I'm likely to eat it all. So, yeah, I have a problem. My name is Jackie, and I'm a food addict. <laughs> and welcome to this meeting. This food, FA meeting, food addict meeting. Because, yeah, it's going crazy. And then tomorrow I have a brunch, and I keep looking at the menu. Fortunately about this place tomorrow is, like, the menu's kind of healthy. Really the worst thing I could do is probably drink too much alcohol. And so I'm trying to decide if I'm even going to drink alcohol. But, um... I'm going the slow and steady route. I haven't did my workout today. I woke up late this morning too. But I plan on still doing a workout. Which I don't know because I have like the Grow With Joe app. And um, I'm on like a training program on there right now. And I scheduled one of my days for today. But I didn't wake up early enough to do it. So I don't know if I'm going to do it before I go or after I get home. I really don't know. But I'm going to try to do it. Plus I'm going to go on. My little walk that I usually go on. I probably should do something extra too because, yeah, I just overdid the food today. But I might not because, like, I'm trying to learn how to, like, get out of this mindset of, like, oh, you do something, so now you got to go extra crazy. Like, no, you did it. It's done. And just continue on the same pattern that you're on. And so that's what I'm going to do, I guess. But it's the weekend. I'm excited. I really even have no business eating that pizza, like, I wasn't really hungry. Like, there was still a little bit of space in my stomach where I felt a little hungry. I wasn't really, like, hungry, hungry like that. But I just wanted a pizza because the pizza is just calling my name. But, yeah. Whatever. Excited for the weekend, and uh, we'll see what happens. I have to bail out early, but this place is so nice. Apparently, they have memberships that cost $300 plus dollars a month. The event was kind of fun. Like, I'm kind of tipsy. <laughs> my face is so breaking 
broke out. That's so ugly. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Jesus, my birthday's coming up. Why my ears popping? <sighs> Sorbet, excellent guess. Anything you want to add to that? Mm. That's exactly right. So you had tonight lemon sorbet with almond milk, vegan whipped cream, and chocolate puffs. How about the rest of y'all? How about our red and green candles? Chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. And toffee. Mm -hmm. what else? That's kind of an easy guess. What else? Toffee. Toffee? Okay. Something with some heat in it. Okay, like a little bit of a kick or some heat temperature. Right on. Okay. I'm not going to keep you in suspense. Dark chocolate badino, toasted marshmallow, hazelnut I knew toffee. it was marshmallow. How did y'all do? Did you impress yourselves? Were you about as good at discerning what you tasted as you thought you might be? Better? Worse? Come on. In any case, give yourselves a pat on the back for trying out this dairy novelty culinary experience. When I think of all that we've been together, been through tonight, it almost brings a tear in my eye to see the evening drop real close. And yet here we are. As a parting gift from me to you, keep your mind false. You're welcome to do with them as you please. Have fun. Asleep. This venue and building is so freaking nice. I wish I could afford to have a membership here. They did their big one happening at this uh, this place because the last time I went to this kind of event, it was not like this. And it was in some little place that was kind of a little bit ghetto. I'm not gonna lie. But this is an upgrade. Okay, do I know where I'm going? So, for the entrees, I mean for the meals, like the starter was a salad. The salad was not that good to me. And it was just iceberg with like some cranberries or something. He told us everything, but I forgot. My ears popping like I'm on the plane. And then the entree was the bombest thing. The dessert was a chocolate mousse, but the entree was like a Manhattan steak. I never had no Manhattan steak. I thought it was a filet the way it was cut. It was juicy and good. With some little potato fingerlings. Uh-uh. But the only thing about the event is that you have to pay for the extra drinks or whatever. I had three drinks. They were each $16 because they were cocktails. I didn't get wine. Wine was cheaper. Something else was cheaper too. I can't remember what was on that menu. But I got two like rum mixed drinks and then I got an old fashioned. That old fashioned was strong. Strong arm. And then, um, what was that? And then I um also they added 18% gratuity to it. So then there's that. And um yeah, I don't know, it was a fun event though. I liked it. It was fun. I love food. You know me. And then I just overdrank and just overdid my calories even more. What are you saying to me? Just kidding. So yeah, I had a good time. Tomorrow's brunch. See you guys tomorrow for brunch. I had to pay for parking too. Parking was ten dollars. That wasn't too bad. Oh, uh, I'm too much in my text message. I gotta go though. I gotta see where I how to get home. Yeah, so I'm home. I couldn't really record when I was at that dinner in the dark because they was playing all kind of music in the background. So I couldn't really record while I was there. Then after I left, I had to drive home. I was on the phone with folks on the way. And right now I'm trying to clean my face with this witch hazel because I don't know what to do. My face been broke out. This ain't really a problem that I really know how to handle. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I don't know why it's broken out so bad. But hopefully this brings a change in the morning. I don't know. I'm going to end up putting makeup on tomorrow morning anyway because I'm going to that brunch. I don't even know what I'm wearing. I hope I wake up early enough to where I know what I'm wearing. I ain't even, I'm tired. I had all them drinks. I ain't even finna freaking do no exercise, no extra exercise. I'll try to do it tomorrow morning if I wake up early enough. And then see what happens from there. I was tired, boss. I'm about to hit the hay and call it a day. All right. 
So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, so I'm at the mall. I went to brunch by myself because I wasn't gonna make it to that black girl brunch on time. I just got some stuff, some bath and body works. I'm about to go to Old Navy and get this man a shirt. <laughs> I should not be getting him a shirt, but I'm about to get him a shirt. Okay, y'all, so I just went outside and did a bunch of shit I'm not supposed to do. I, I done bought this dude a shirt, but it's just a white tee. It don't cost that much. Is there makeup on my hands? He's going to be mad if there's makeup on his shirt. Just a plain crew neck white tee. Um, and then I went to Bath and Body Works. Got me some fragrances. Ah! Which one? Calypso Clementine. This smells so good. So I got the lotion to match this one because it was buy three. Get three free. Then I got this um, Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Star Fruit, which, what did I get to match that? I got the lotion. Oh, no, not the lotion. <laughs> I got the body wash to match that. For some reason, there was no caps on the rest of them. It was so weird. And then I got Meet Me in Miami. Miami. Miami! Miami got sweet memories with me, so don't play with Miami. And I got the body wash from Miami. And then I got, um, what else did I get? I got this little one, this Tutti Fruity, because it's the first one I smelled. It smells so good. So I was like, I got to get this one. I didn't see it in the big one, but I'm sure the big one was in there, but I just didn't see it. And then I also got some candles. I got um, pink apple punch <sighs> to die for. And I got um, another one because it was right next to the pink apple punch. And it smelled good too. And this one is black cherry marlo. Woo! It smells so good. So I got those. And then um, I couldn't leave out there because I wanted to get a cupcake from the, uh, what's it called? From the, um... oh, I went to Sephora. I'm making a bunch of noise. Okay. I went to Sephora. I only went and got some basic stuff from Sephora. So I got this um, all-nighter from Urban Decay because I'm out. I don't have no setting spray. And then I got, um, what is this? The Fenty um, concealer. I put it under my eyes. I don't know which color is which, honestly. But I just got this one. <laughs> Hopefully it works when I like do a full face. But right now I don't have a full face. I just have some eyebrows. I didn't even conceal the eyebrows. And then I have lashes. And then I have um, concealer under my eyes because my eyes be having dark circles. And then I got the Fenty lip gloss. Because the last time I got the lip gloss, I lost it. I don't know where it's at. That lip gloss is expensive to be losing it. And then, where's my fork? Oh, I'm mad. Oh, okay, there it goes. Then I got this cake from the freaking, um, from the cake shop that's in the, the, um, what's it called? In the food court. And I asked the girl, cause I was just going to get the strawberry cupcake cause they got a whole bunch of strawberry cupcakes. I asked the girl what was her favorite flavor. She said, oh, the pink champagne was pretty good and pretty sweet. It don't really taste like nothing to me. <laughs> but I'm about to go meet this guy so we can go to the movies. So we're about to go see that Bob Marley movie. I should have got the cupcake because I feel like this is a little drier than when I had the cupcake the last time. But I gotta pee. So I'm about to go meet him so we can go to the movies. Okay? Okay. Ew, whatever's in the center of that cake is disgusting. Mm-mm. I should have got the cupcake. That's not that good. Okay, I'm out of here. So I'm back home from the day. I'm about to try to do a little exercise because it don't feel right not doing my exercise. And I just did a walk yesterday. I didn't even do my program, so I'm already lacking. But I wore a little shirt as a dress, as, I mean, a shirt as a dress, a dress as a shirt today. I've been doing that lately. I've been on my dress as a shirt kit lately, but the outfit was cute. I took it off now and I'm, well, I didn't take it off. I'm getting ready to take it off. So I'm not about to show y'all what I was wearing, but I need to start showing y'all what I be wearing because I be liking my little outfits. I want to know if y'all be liking them too. But yeah, I'm about to um do a little workout and then I think I'm probably going to go get my daughter if nobody else hits me up for plans because she apparently is ready to go home so 
I'm like trying to hold out as long as possible. But if nothing else happens, she can come home and be with me. And it's nothing like we can just be together. That's fine. So, yeah, I'm about to do a little exercise. And <sighs> um, we went to Hops and Drops. We went to the movies. We went to go see that Bob Marley movie. Did I tell you I was going on a date? I went on a date after I went to brunch by myself instead of the black girl brunching. I went on a date to the movies. We went to go see the Bob Marley movie. That movie was okay. It was pretty good. I kind of liked it. They did pretty well. Um, except for I'm a little bit confused about Bob La Bob Marley's like life and personal story because clearly his mama was a black Jamaican. His daddy was apparently a white man, but at like some point of the movie, there's this other man who was not a white man at all on a horse who takes him. And I'm like, is that his real daddy? Or is that just some man who raised him? Because his mom left him in Jamaica while she went to Delaware or something. And so that was weird. But then we went to Hops and Drops after we went to the movies. Hops and Drops, it was my only, my second time, I think, going there. The restaurant is kind of like a bar food kind of restaurant, but it was good. I had a chicken parmesan like sliders with fries. It was pretty good. I wasn't really that hungry. I should have just not ate anything because I wasn't really hungry anyways, but I just ate because we went. That's that greedy stuff. And then um, he ate and then he took me back to my car and I came home. So yeah, Saturday was pretty cool. It's pretty chill. Tomorrow I got to get ready back for work. I probably need to go to the grocery store because I want to make salmon and I don't know what will be my second meal, but pretty much my meals are pretty much through because I think I have one salad left at work. And I'm probably not going to want to eat that salad that much when I get there. So we'll see. But anyways, let me go do what I got to do. Oh my God, look how freaking sweaty I am. That's crazy. Y'all, so it's um, Sunday the 25th, 11 a.m. February 2024. Um... I freaking just got finished doing a Grow With Joe workout. Um, I was supposed to go pick up my daughter last night. Yesterday, I was tipsy. And you know what's crazy? I had a crazy Friday and a semi-crazy Saturday as far as eating and drinking. And freaking, why did I still lose the weight that I was trying to lose to get back to where I was before I ate crazy the weekend before, which was unexpected? excuse me, unexpected. So, um, I just figured, you know what? Put that action to good use. Get right. Oh, the back of my earring fell out. But I said, put that little weight loss back into good use. Go ahead on your good week. I only got like two weeks to my birthday now. I think it's literally two weeks. Yeah. Literally two weeks to my birthday now. I'm not going to lose much weight from here, honestly, because it's only two weeks, so the most I could probably lose is like four pounds. Which, actually, if I lost four pounds, that would be good. And then I'll probably gain them back because I'm going to be doing food events for my birthday. So, I don't know. I feel really good right now, though. I can't believe I'm this freaking sweaty. That's ugly. Um, but I'm about to get in the shower and go get my daughter and then probably go to the grocery store because I said I wanted to make salmon this week. And I don't know what else I'm making. I really can't decide. Probably just going to do, like, chicken and some type of salad like kale salad or something because i got some kale in there that i need to use and get rid of so um yeah i don't know if i'm gonna end this vlog on today because i feel like it's getting kind of long and i haven't posted the last one yet i probably should work on that tonight and try to post it asap anyways happy sunday did y'all go to church i went to a uh, potter house online this morning um if y'all went to church drop in the comments below what was the message in the sermon about and if it was for you or if it was just a good message or whatever you want to say i'll see y'all later what's up y'all good morning it is monday i don't even know the date monday february 26 708 a.m i am late to work um the crazy part is so i know i've been struggling with waking up at 4 30 or 5 to exercise so like i didn't exercise this morning but i was up at 4 30. i got up i went to the restroom i had to change my daughter's dexcom but i had decided like oh i'm not gonna change it right now because i forgot about that long night we had about 10 days ago when um 
I had to change it early in the morning. And so I didn't even realize until late at night that it was going to need to be changed early in the morning. It actually was like 428 or something like that. So I was like, I'm just going to wait a couple hours. So then I ended up going back to sleep because I was tired because I go to sleep kind of late too. And that's the other thing. I think me waking up so early is kind of like throwing off my my rest because I still go to sleep late and I don't know like I'm not really a morning person I'm really like a night person but I can't really be a night person because I have to work at seven o'clock in the morning and then yeah so it just it's just I don't know I need to figure out how to get to sleep earlier but yeah so I'm just checking in um apparently I lost my freaking debit card I didn't even realize I lost my debit card till last night too and that was kind of irritating. And I didn't check all the pockets and stuff of things. And I don't, I don't know where it's at. So that's a little bit annoying. I hope I find it. If not, I'm going to have to order a new card. I need that. That's my money. And I get paid this week. What? Mm-mm. Give me my money. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's me from the future. I just realized that I didn't have a closing for that video. So, hey. <laughs> If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that other crap that they say. And um, yeah, just come back for the next one. I've been having problems with the uploading process. And so just, just bear with me. I'm still trying to put stuff up there. If you haven't already, go watch my short on News Restaurant and Lounge. I posted this the same day that I'm recording. So go see what that food about. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Yeah.